Good morning children. Today we are going to revise chapter 9 rational numbers. Just we are revising the notes only whatever we have studied the theory part. A number that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 is called a rational number. So definition of the rational number it is what is the form p by q. p can take integers and also q the denominator also integers numerator and the denominator are also integers only but one more condition is there what is that condition denominator never equal to zero then such number is called the rational numbers all integers fractions are rational numbers what is the meaning of this one all integers means minus one zero plus one everything we can express the denominator one only so in the form p by q so all integers are rational numbers because they are in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 the definition is already satisfying here what meant by fractions numerator by denominator always we consider it as a positive numbers only for the numerator and the denominator in the case of a fraction so they, that is also in the form of p by q so they are called uh, rational numbers if a numerator and the denominator of a rational number are multiplied or divided by non-zero integer we get a rational number which is said to be equivalent so 2 by 5 if we are getting we are multiplying and dividing with the same number so 3 I am taking we are dividing multiplying divided by the 3 so it is equal to 6 by 15 when you simplify you will get back 2 by 5 so this is called a equivalent rational number Rational numbers are classified as a positive, zero or negative rational number. When the numerator and the denominator are both positive integers they or both are negative integers, it is a positive rational numbers. So first we have in the form P by Q form only. So just I will take a 3 by 7. So when uh, 3 is positive, 7 is positive. So the positive by positive, the answer is positive. So it's a positive rational number. If I am taking minus 5 by 9, so what you can say about it? It's a negative only. So both both should be negative so negative by negative what is the answer again it is positive only so when we both are negative integers or both are positive integers it is called a positive rational number either the numerator or the denominator is a negative for example we will take a minus 6 by uh, 13 so which is a neg negative here minus 6 that means numerator is negative and the denominator is positive so when you know the division of a minus uh, negative by positive the answer is negative only so a negative rational number the same rule is applicable when the denominator is negative so it is positive and the negative positive by negative again the answer is negative only so minus 6 by 13 the number is 0 is neither positive nor a negative rational number 0 uh, does not assign any sign there it will not be treated as a positive number or a negative number there are unlimited number of rational numbers between two rational numbers you know very well this concept that is many number lies between any two rational numbers so for example if you are taking one by 3 and 10, 1 by uh, 5 we are taking in between how many rational numbers we can write we can write many rational numbers by changing the denominator isn't it by the equivalent fractions or the equivalent rational numbers idea we are using here so 1 by 3 can be written as uh, into 5 we can write means uh, 1 by uh, f uh, into 5 I am taking 1 by 3 into 5 into 5 it is equal to 5 by 15 again 1 by 5 into 3 into 3 so we will get 3 by 15 so 3 by 15 and 5 by 15 if you are considering only one number is possible that is 4 by 15 now I can change the denominator as a 30 there so uh, I should multiply it with a 10 so it will be 10 by 30 Similarly, 1 by 5 I multiply with the 6, so 6 by 30. In between how many numbers are possible? 7 by 30, 8 by 30, uh, 9 by 30, like that. So, when you can change the, uh, you can apply the concept of equivalent rational number, we can get a many rational number. I have taken uh, two examples here. We have done many examples previously also, just a revision only this one. So, just two examples I have done here. A rational number is said to be in the standard form if its denominator is a positive integer and the numerator and the denominator have no common factor other than 1. So when we are writing the 10 by 15, we should simplify this one. If I can cancel with the common factor, it's safe means we can take 
5 as the number cancel with the 5 it is equal to 2 by 3 it is in the simplified form and further I cannot simplify now when you take the common factor of this one 2 and 3 it is 1 only so the 2 by 3 is called the standard form in case any you are getting that 5 by minus 7 it is not in the standard form because the denominator is negative I clearly explained while do, teaching this one minus 5 by 7 should be written when it is asked for um, sim, uh, in, uh, standard form two rational numbers by with the same denominator can be added by adding their numerators keeping with the same denominator so just example 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 the denominator is same very easy addition where denominator is same means we can just add the numerator 1 plus 2 it is equal to 3 by 3 finally it is equal to 1 only when it comes the different way what we should do that is the two with the different denominators possible means taking the LCM as the denominator then converting the rational numbers to their respective equivalent forms and the denominators uh, keeping LCM as the denominator and adding the numerator part so this you can understand while doing the problems only while subtracting the two rational numbers we add the additive inverse of a rational number to the subtracted to the other rational number so we should take the additive inverse of the rational number for doing the subtraction. So we will see that one with, the, with the one example 2 by 3, 2 by 7 minus uh, 3 by 7. So here my 3 by 7 is having plus. So we have to take the additive inverse of plus 3 by 7. So the first number there is no change here, 2 by 7 only. The second number additive inverse is minus 3 by 7. Then the subtraction will change into addition so 2 minus 3 by 7 it is equal to minus 1 by 7 now product of the rational numbers what is the product of the rational numbers product of the numerators by product of the denominators so so 1 by 3 into uh, so 3 by 7 so what we'll do 1 into 3 divided by 3 into 7 so 3 by 21 we can cancel the common factor again you will get 1 by 7 anybody wants to cancel like this also it is correct only so by the rule it is product of the numerators divided by product of the denominators the reciprocal of a non-zero rational number p by q is q by p that means numerator is changed to denominator and denominator is changed to numerator that is interchange the numerator and the denominator denominator to divide one rational number by the other non-zero rational number we multiply the first rational number by the reciprocal of the other so what is that one uh, we 2 by 7 divided by 3 by 20, uh, 3 by 5 then what we should do 2 by 7 we will keep the same the second numbers that is 3 by 5 is reciprocal that means 5 by 3 will take and the division is changed into multiplication so the again the rule is the product of the numerator divided by uh, the product of the denominator so 7 into 3 here 10 by 21 next examples which of the following rational number is negative 1 so minus of minus 3 by 7 what is the answer it will be positive 3 by 7 so it's not negative minus 5 by minus 8 again it is positive 9 by 8 numerator and the denominator are positive only so it's a positive rational number here what happens 3 by minus 7 the numerator is positive denominator is negative so it's a negative rational number so the answer is or the solution we can say it is equal to d 3 by minus 7. Second question. The standard form of minus 48 by 60. If minus 48 by 60, if you take means, what is the common factor we should identify? Minus 48 divided by 12 will take. Again, 60 divided by 12 we can go. So, what is the answer? Minus 4 by 5. So, when we are doing the standard form, check that the denominator should not have any negative sign. So, here C is having minus 4 by 5 the same. and But here, if it is go for minus 4 by minus 4 uh, minus 5 the answer is positive only so which is the answer correct the solution is c use the correct symbol less than greater than and equal 3 by 7 box we, we filling the blanks only box is given minus 5 by 6 naturally we know that uh, the positive number is a greater than number so the solution is 3 by 7 is greater than minus 5 by 6 there is nothing to worry about this one now for the second question what happened both are negative only so minus 9 by 7 4 by minus and what we should do without negative sign I am taking the number 
answer 9 by 7 and 4 by 7 cross multiplication method we can go so 9 into 7 63 7 into 4 is 28 now what happens here negative sign should be given if without negative sign 63 will be the greater number everybody knows that right 63 is a greater number now this question for this question it should be minus 63 and minus 28 so what will happen to the sign it will change so which is the negative greater number 4 by minus 7 so the solution is 9 by minus 9 by minus 9 i'll repeat solution minus 9 by 7 is less than minus 4 by 7 are the rational numbers minus 8 by 28 and 32 by minus 112 are equivalent so minus 8 by 28 if i'm taking equivalent number we should find out so simplify the common factors we are dividing with the 4 here so what will happen minus 8 divided by 4 i'll take again 28 should be divided by 4 only so the answer is minus 2 divided by 7 similarly 32 by minus 112 we can go for by 2 only first then later we can go for the another number now we are going for 2 uh, 16 also directly i can go so here uh, 32 divided by 16 divided by 112 divided by 16 your answer is again minus sorry plus 2 by minus 7 so that is same as minus 2 by 7 so what is the answer we should write both rational numbers are equivalent therefore both rational numbers are equivalent equivalent so we should simplify the numbers and check that whether the sign is also correct we should get positive means positive number we should get we are getting a negative means negative number only we should get then compare then we can write whether both are equal means what we should write both are equal and rational numbers only in the first question minus 5 into 12 by 15 minus minus of 3 into 2 by 9 so i'll write down the first question only minus 5 into 12 by 15 in bracket minus bracket again minus 3 into 2 by 9 if you go for the um, common factor calculations we can calculate cancel 5 and 15 also so minus 5 will get cancelled here 3 only so minus 12 by 3 it is 3 only here so again we can cut here it is 4 so this is equal to minus 4 and what about this side 3 will cut here means 3 again so minus 2 by 3 minus of minus plus 2 by 3 only so again lcm it is minus 4 can be written as uh, minus 4 by 1 into 3 into 1 so minus 12 plus 2 divided by 3 it is equal to minus 10 by 3 now the question is not completed what is asked in the question reciprocal so reciprocal of minus 10 by 3 equal to 3 by minus 10 or we can write minus 3 by 10 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 divided by uh, 1 by 2 uh, divided by 6 only now what sorry this is plus only 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 divided by 6 so so here i it is a multiplication only so 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 4 plus 1 by 2 into this is 6 by 1 means 1 by 6 1 by 8 plus 1 by 12 again taking the denominator 12 plus 8 here i am multiplying with the 12 here i am multiplying with the 8 so 12 8 into 12 in the denominator so 20 divided by 8 into 12 that is 96 again we can cancel by 4 4 fives are 20 uh, 4 twos are 8 balance one so 5 by 24 now the reciprocal is Twenty-four by five. 
with this today's class i am winding up practice rational numbers thank you